Hey, and welcome back. This is Anna, also known as English. That's my nickname on Instagram. Make sure you give me your follow. And today I would like to talk about how to stay motivated when learning English. I know this feeling, you know, when you start learning something new, for example, you take a course, you take an English course and you're so motivated at the very beginning, right? You're like, I'm going to learn English every day. I'm going to learn five words each day, etc., etc. And then I would say it's usually, it usually comes with the week three when you start feeling that your motivation level starts going down, right? So that's, that's the normal thing. Some people may have it sooner, uh, some people may have it later, but I would say this is usually week three. What can we do to stay motivated longer or even better throughout the whole course that we are taking? There are a few things and I'm going to share them with you. Number one is you have to identify your whys. Think about why you want to learn English. What is your big goal? I want you to now think of three to five reasons why you are learning English. And, uh, you know, I want you to imagine the big picture. You're not learning English to improve your grammar. You're not learning English to learn more words. You are learning English for a bigger goal. Yeah, what is this goal? Are you learning English to get a better job? Yes or no? Are you learning English to get a higher salary? Yes or no? Are you learning English to relocate to a different country and get a better job and live a better life? Yes or no? Are you learning English to be able to speak with your friends or to make new friends in different countries? Are you learning English to be able to travel or to work effortlessly? Now that you have written your reasons why you're learning English, I'm pretty sure you feel that your level of motivation is going up, right? Because you are getting excited about this ultimate goal and now you want to do and everything and anything you can in order to achieve this goal. So that's going to be your reminder. Do this activity every week or whenever you feel that you are getting demotivated, please revisit this activity and write down the goals of why you're learning English or why you're doing any other thing. So this, this practice can be applicable to other activities as well, not only English. The second thing that you can do in order to stay motivated is you can make English your habit. How does it work? Think of something that you like doing and that you do daily. That is already your habit. For example, drinking coffee in the morning. That's your habit. Taking shower in the morning, taking shower in the evening, that's your habit. Reading a book before going to sleep, that's a habit. You know, something that you already do, or that's something that you like doing. Now, think of how you can incorporate English into this activity. When I say incorporate, I mean you can add English to this activity. Let me give you my example. I really love listening to English audiobooks. And uh, I would do this every time I was in a car driving, you know, driving to work. But then when COVID started, I didn't have to go anywhere. I was working from home. I was like, I still want to listen to these audiobooks. And so what I started doing, I started listening to audiobooks while I was taking shower in the morning and in the evening. And you know what? I was able to pretty much finish the book in just like a few days. But then guys, you have to be prepared that sometimes you have to plan ahead because when I received my utility bill, water bill, it was double what I usually pay. And I was like, oops, my English habit is getting expensive. So be careful with that. Think of what habit you already have and how you can add learning English to this habit. For example, if you already read something before going to bed, read it in English. You drink coffee every morning quietly. You can also listen to something in English while you're having your coffee, right? If you're driving, uh, don't listen to music, listen to something in English. And this is how you will make English your daily habit. Another reason why people lose motivation when learning English is because of their poor time management. When I say poor time management, I mean bad time management. Poor uh, is also a synonym for bad. So poor time management. The thing is that when you start learning English, you don't invest 
time into planning, planning your schedule. And you think, okay, I'm going to learn English on Wednesday, on Friday, on like every day. I'm going to learn English every day, but it doesn't work. Our brain needs exact, very specific command. You need to tell your brain when exactly you are going to learn English. You need to give them the day and the time. That is why you need to schedule time for learning English. What I want you to do now with me, I want you to take your phone, I want you to go to your calendar, or if you don't use a calendar, you probably use some reminder app or something like that. Everything I do is in my Google Calendar. Even lunch break is in my Google Calendar. Workout is in my Google Calendar. Anything, like, you know, every little thing I put in my Google Calendar. So now I want you to pause this video. I want you to take your phone, go to your calendar, Google Outlook, doesn't matter. And I want you to schedule the time for learning English. Every day, I want you to book this time specifically for learning English. For example, Monday, 9 a.m., I'm drinking my coffee. 20 minutes, I'm listening to a podcast. Tuesday, before going to bed, I'm reading one page of the book. You don't need to like schedule hours. I want you to schedule, you know, minutes, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, but every day. English should be your daily habit. You don't need to learn it. You just live it. Let's summarize the tips that I have just given you. Number one, remember your whys. Why are you learning English? If you feel that you lose motivation, write down three to five reasons why you're learning English. Your big, your ultimate goals. Number two, make English your daily habit so that you never have to learn it again, but you just live it. Yeah, think of some habits that you already have and add English onto those habits. And number three, schedule time for learning English. Use a calendar or any other app to schedule your daily English practice, even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes. Remember, your brain needs some control. You need to control your brain, otherwise your brain will control you. Our brain is lazy. That is why we lose motivation, because we don't want to do anything, right? That is why we start procrastinating because it's easier to procrastinate. It's easier not to do anything. It's easier not to grow. Yeah, because like we're in our comfort zone. But when we start learning something, we are growing. This is never easy and this is never pleasant. That is why we need to be very focused and we need to be very particular about what we do and plan everything step by step. Now I would like to hear from you. Which of my recommendations you found the most useful? Let me know in the comments and let's discuss. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next video.